Alright, so this is uh, the Drifter 18. This is my submission video for SGDQ 2018. This is Contra 3 Hard Mode. Uh, I'm going to be starting out with 7 lives just because uh, for the marathon you want to have as many lives as possible just in case anything goes wrong. Um, my PB is 1430. Uh, the world record is 1422 by Mr. K. Uh, he just got that world record uh, actually not, uh, not too long ago. It was like a week or two ago. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just got this PB, this 14.30, uh, like a week or two uh, ago as well. So um, nothing really new has happened in in uh, this category. Uh, just kind of just getting small optimizations and reducing as much lag as possible is pretty much uh, been getting our times down a little bit lower. Uh, so I'm just going to be trying to do a nose reset run. Um, and kind of just see how it goes and I'll commentate as we go um, and yeah we do SDA timing for this game uh, by the way so uh, timer begins when you take control of the character and timer ends when you lose control in the last stage so alrighty so without further ado let's get right into it so stage one is super reset heavy uh, especially if you're trying to go for a world record time uh, most of the guys that spawn in are completely completely RNG, so... Um, you'll be seeing me uh, switching weapons and whatnot to uh, get more damage on these uh, enemies. Ah, see? No. Just keep going here. So in hard mode... Uh, those dogs will actually spawn in. Oh, lost both my weapons. Alright, so this is going to be a lot harder. Um, yeah, so now you can see how just how uh, punching this uh, level can be. So we're going to take the tank. The tank is uh, pretty much invincible, but it does take damage. And we'll, uh, yeah, can't use it anymore. Uh, we want to get this crush. Crush is the strongest weapon in the game, and you need this barrier in hard mode to get through this part. Uh, this saves quite a bit of time getting through this. We're going to pick up this laser. So this uh, tank is pretty simple. Uh, he spawns in the same way every time. We're going to get the last crush right here. So now we have double crush. So yeah, so, so when we uh, switch the weapons rapidly like that, you can uh, fire more crush missiles at a time. Let me try to go for this fire skip here. We're going to bomb off screen. That'll decrease the lag a little bit more. Alright, so this fire skip saves like, I think, seven seconds. So it's a decent amount of time. Alrighty, uh, so now we get to the boss. The boss has a couple couple different patterns it'll do to uh, attack. It has a has like a gun that'll shoot bullets out, and it has um, little insects that'll come out the top of its like back there, and then uh, it'll also shoot stuff like that. There you go, and it'll also uh, kind of move up and down on the ground like that. So you can point blank the turtle, but you have a 10% chance of surviving, so not very marathon safe. So the way that you spawn into this little area, like, uh, is completely RNG as well. So you have to be kind of quick on your inputs. And the way those pods open up is completely RNG. And you walk sideways on this stage because uh, it'll make you walk a lot faster. Mm, pretty good level. Not bad. I didn't get a good pattern on those pods. Uh, you want them to open up right away. But I got the bad pattern. You have to spin around to get some of those to open up. So waste a lot of time. 
All right, so stage three, there's pretty much no RNG at all. There's just like a few parts where there's a little bit of RNG. So this part right here where all these bugs spawn in is RNG. But, uh... Pretty easy to kill as long as you uh, shoot them right away as they grab you. Whoops, okay, that's fine. Uh, we get another crush here, anyways, so that was unfortunate. A little bit of a time loss. So, one thing to actually know, the crush when they ex uh, blow up on stuff, you kind of see that little explosion. Um, that's RNG, which is kind of weird, but uh, it won't explode the same way every time, so it'll deal damage differently. So this part, you want to not shoot anything, uh, otherwise it'll lag the game, slow you down. So you just kind of have to wait for him to crawl up this wall and not get hit by these missiles. And the way this guy moves around his RNG, that was really good. And you can climb up those walls really fast if you uh, jump, and then hold up, and then just keep repeating. Alright, so I'm going to get this barrier here just to be safe. You can do this barrierless, but uh, it's kind of difficult and risky. Mr. K actually does it quite well. I'm going to try to go for this skip. I missed it. You can skip one of the ledges there, which is kind of cool. Saves some frames, I think. So these twins are RNG here. Getting pretty good pattern. I'm doing a little safe strat here and just staying up on the ceiling and shooting them because uh, they they can uh, move around pretty fast uh, when they lose their bodies. They just kind of jump around from the ground. So this guy is pretty simple. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see. So stage 4 is just a really big uh, auto-scroller, so it's pretty boring. Really good area for some donations. Um, not a whole lot of RNG in this level. I think the guys that spawn in here are RNG, but you can kill them pretty quickly. The guys that are on the top seem to slip through, but as long as you... Uh, As long as you react quickly enough, you can dodge them. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so... These uh, little laser things that are shooting right now um, are have a lot of health. Uh, you can't really kill them in hard mode. I have no idea what the purpose of this thing is. <laughs> so that guy right there is RNG, the way he jumps around and stuff. Um, I got a decent pattern there, but the best pattern is when he stays to the left. You can just get underneath him and shoot him with Crush. Alright, so... This boss right here, there's a kind of a really tight quick kill here. Let me see if I can get it. Alright, 
didn't quite get it. You can actually kill him before he jumps, but it's really tough to get because of the uh, crush on G. So this guy right here we call the uh, Jetpack Ninja. It's pretty easy to kill. Alright, so this boss fight is pretty tough. Uh, the way the missiles blow up is RNG. Whoops. I uh, didn't want that to happen. So you want to stay in this middle missile here. Uh, it deals the most damage. So that wasn't the greatest fight. Um, we lost our crush. But, uh, yeah. Now you can kind of see how uh, that fight can go. <laughs> but since we died there, we can actually do this uh, this ledge skip, which is kind of cool. I'll show you that. So the way this level works, um, if you die, it'll spawn you in one of these checkpoints. Oops. So if I die here, it'll spawn me across this ledge over there. So I just skipped a whole ledge sequence, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna stick around here and see if a uh, crush shows up. Laser, I'll take that. Laser is actually really good for these top down levels. So the, the sand there will actually spin you around in this level, so you have to double tap your triggers to uh, counteract that. Alright, so stage 6. The beginning is, uh, has a lot of RNG, so you have to be kind of careful. I'm going to have to pick up these bombs, because we're going to need those for the fight. Alright, this part we call the gauntlet. Because you kind of have to uh, run the whole way without dying. <laughs> Whew, okay, we did it. That was a pretty good fight. So the heart there, that'll spawn those little bugs on the top and bottom of the screen. If you're fast enough, uh, you can kill the heart before those things uh, have a chance to really start spawning in. Alright, this guy is called the Golden Beast. Uh, I just want to get right into his face and mash. Whew, that's close. He'll, he'll uh, do an attack with those kind of like stone orb thingies that fall from the ceiling. You, uh, you have to be careful about those, because they are RNG. I was hoping to get a one cycle there, but that's alright, we'll take a two cycle. Um, you can actually one cycle him fairly consistently if you use a bomb, but since I only have three bombs, I'm gonna save him. And in hard mode, you wanna take off that left arm and just uh, keep shooting diagonally up into the brain section of the head there. Try to avoid hitting the eyes. Um, but the right arm is RNG the way it'll kind of attack, so you have to be careful. So I'm going to go for red orbs here. It's one of the longer cycles of the brain, so you can have more time to deal damage. Mr. K found this strategy, and it's one of the easier ways to get a four cycle on the brain fight. Mm -hmm. 
But the way that that roulette there works is, uh, it'll turn right, I believe, first, and then it'll turn left. Uh, but it's RNG at what time it'll turn around, and the speed that it turns is RNG. Oops. So now we're not going to be able to get a four cycle, I'm pretty sure. if I can get this stone over. So there's a little trick you can do in this guy. If you line up right here, you can lay flat and those orbs won't kill you. Because uh, when you lay flat, your elbow becomes your hitbox, and uh, for whatever reason, those stone orbs don't hit your hitbox. I think the, uh, the part of the orb that'll kill you is like right in the center, and I guess the center doesn't touch you from that spot, so... Yeah. And uh, this is the extra fight you get in hard mode, is the Armored Brain. He's pretty uh, easy, actually. There's not much to it. As long as you have Double Crush, you can just uh, mash right down into him, and it should kill him in a few seconds. But um, he does an attack here with his arms. He'll try to grab and hit you. That's RNG, though. But he didn't do it, so... Yay. Yeah. And uh, the timer uh, ends here when you lose control of the character, so which is right about when you reach the top of this tunnel. And time. And there you go. And that's Contra 3 hard mode. I think my estimate would be probably around 18 minutes. Um, I think that would give me enough time just in case I game over it or something. Um, other than that, yeah, uh, it would be a really good game to see it at SGDQ. It hasn't been there, I believe, since Mr. K did uh, his Death Warp run, and I think it was AG AGDQ either 2016 or 2017. Um, other than that, the last time uh, a hard any percent has been run is when I did it at SGDQ 2015, I believe. So yeah, it'd be cool to see it again. And if anybody uh, would like to do a race, I'd be open to that as well. So thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this, and uh, hope to see you at uh, SDQ. Have a good day.